Uh, I think it's fun doing collabs. People email me asking for collabs. I do a few of them, but that's what's fun about collabs. You can do whatever you want. So I'm excited to do one with Lisa Nova for sure. Collaboration videos on YouTube. Um, it seems like everybody was doing them. And tons of people are always asking Lisa you know, to collab, and it's just overwhelming because you can't do it with everyone. So once I do a collaboration video, I'll have at least 100 to 200 subscribers. Because people who watch that person's video, they want to know who they saw in the video, so they start researching and subscribing. Oh, I love collaborations. Collaboration videos are like key. Like when you first start on YouTube, it's almost impossible now to get subscriptions unless you kind of network your way around. I do care about how many subscribers I have. I do care about how many views I get. I have over 17,000. About 42,000. I have around like 87,000, I think. I have 111,000 subscribers and like 50 million views. There are some people that are on top of me that have more subscribers than I do, but I'm getting more views than they are. I could do this for a living, you know? Like, I'm at the point now to where, like, I'll make enough money to where I don't have to work anymore. I do make some income with YouTube and the partnership program. Partnership on YouTube is just the program they allow ads to pop up on your videos. You get a portion of people that click on the ads, but you only really make any money if you get a lot of views on your videos. Uh, I was paid to go on vacation, and they just wanted a video. I would love like to have you two let me travel. <laughs> I've had um, a lot of sponsorship opportunities, like product placement stuff right now is huge. I'm not gonna go out and say, drink Pepsi, eh, you know. It's just having it in there. I don't think it's inconceivable to see full-time video bloggers within the next six months being a regular thing. I just think it'd be such a pretty world if we didn't have fucking airplanes dragging, you know, their little whatever it is, the little banner behind it, and, and didn't see ads on the sides of buses and at bus stops. And everywhere you go, you see some ad, some dot com, some service or product. And it, it's irritating. So for me to cross the line and say, drink Coors Light, it's the best, really, really puts you know a thorn in my underwear. Like, it's not good. Hey, if I can get money for it to help promote my, not just, not necessarily myself, but my art, then that's good. For the last two, three months or so, I've actually been bringing in uh, anywhere between $10,000 to $15,000 a month. It looks like I'm possibly gonna be bringing in probably about $60,000 um, this next month. For us, even though we're doing really well, it's still not quite enough. We still have to do other kind of jobs right now, but um, that's definitely the goal to make it where it is enough, it's more than enough, and we're at least making a, a decent living if, if not getting rich or anything, but just able to do what we want to do and make a good living and not stress about money and not have to do the kind of jobs we don't want to do. Once I became a partner, uh, I definitely made some money on YouTube. It makes me always think, well, I have 3,500 subscribers and some people have hundreds of thousands. Like, how much do they make? The whole mentality on YouTube is changing more where it's more accepted, but it was like, in the past, it was it was really like oh sell out. It was like really not something uh, that was good for your YouTube reputation. I guess at one point. What do you mean you're a sellout? You're not a sellout. It's your job. Because of YouTube, somebody recognizes my talent. They want to hire me. I want to do it. I got hired for two commercials. It's pretty good money, I think. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy with it. So it's pretty good money. Yeah. 